In this video, we're going to go part shopping for the ultimate presentation PC. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is the first time you stop by my channel, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Just recently, I decided to, to celebrate my um, subscriber hit of 100 subscribers. We are going to build the ultimate presentation PC and give it away to some lucky person once we hit 500 subscribers. So what we're going to do today is actually go to some of the big name pro, um, presentation software companies and find out their specs and we're going to go doing a little window shopping on what we need to do to get the parts to build this system. All right, so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, so the first one that everyone always talks about is Pro, Pro Presenter, which again, I actually use at my home church because I didn't know of anything else other than the time except for um, Easy Worship. So we'll look that one up as well too. We'll look up Worship Extreme. We also have Media Shout. There's also Proclaim. And those are the five that I know off the top of my head. All right, so let's go ahead and let me pull up a spreadsheet over here. And let's go ahead and consolidate all the specs for all of these. All right, so let's go ahead and go to ProPresenter. So what we need to do is have something that is an i5 or equivalent AMD processor and above. So let's go ahead and look up uh, Intel i5 just for those who don't know what that is. So this is a six core processor at 4.1 4 gigahertz and higher. Well, here's a three. So four, we're looking for four cores and eight threads. And the pricing on these are going for like 200 and something. Or it said an AMD equivalent. So let's do this. And we're going to cut over to our spreadsheet. So the first thing we're going to do is it needs to be um, Intel i5. All right, and let's cut back over here. Memory, eight gigs of memory. That's a bunch of junk because Windows needs that at the bare minimum. So we'll say 18 gigs plus. Graphics, a dedicated discrete graphics card that supports OpenGL 3.2 or higher. Um, and that can be an AMD one as well. It kind of says to stay, it will work with Intel, but honestly, we're forgetting about Intel. Um, so we're looking for OpenGL 3.2. And to be honest, you get any recent graphics card in the last five years, you'll be good with that. So that's what we got so far. Let me, let me bump this up here all right so let's cut back over here and now we're going to look at stage display additional output required for this so the card needs to be able to support it and for pro presenter you actually no, no for the pro presenter you don't have to pay for it so the graphics card needs to also to say um, we're going to say dual plus outputs all right and internet is not required for this one. And it doesn't really say anything about the size of the program in space. So I think we are good from a pro presenter standpoint. So now let's go over to Worship Extreme and let's see. All right, we're looking for a i5 or a i7 quad core. So, so far, we're about the same here. Eight gigs of memory. It's saying an SSD, which is fine. Um, that's what we're gonna do anyway. It's saying graphics card. It's recommending a GeForce GTX. And it's going as low as a i3. So we're not gonna go lower um, from a spec standpoint. 
because we want to go for the top line that's going to be across the board. So let's cut back over here and it says the memory is the same. Let's go ahead and just say the graphics card is the same. Now they didn't um, say anything here, but this one is saying an SSD or a 7, 7200 RPM hard drive. All right, internet is not required for easy worship. And if we cut back over here, it says it again here, similar to require two or more video outputs for extended. So we'll cut back over here and say the same thing. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good so far. Now I'll say, let me add this in here because they did say from a graphics, they specifically said a GeForce GTX. Um, all right, so that's Worship Extreme. All right, I mean, that was easy worship, excuse me. Now on to Worship Extreme. All right, so let's look at what are the requirement sets. All right, so we had to we had to do some digging for this one, but this is just here actually on the forum too. So they're saying again, i5, six gigs of RAM, I mean eight, dedicated video card. The onboard video should be fine. It does three outputs. All right, so we're pretty much just going to say we're going to copy the same info that they said. Worship Extreme, I love you guys. You need to have some better um, requirements listed on your website. All right, so let's go to Media Shout. Let's go to Buy and see what they say. They are not playing, but if we look at the lowest specs, this is what we're going to do to try and hack this is they don't have any list there for this stuff. Let's look at the lowest requirement that they have. So this is an i3, 4 gigs of RAM, wow, um, 500 gigabyte hard drive. Um, this video card supports three outputs, a DVI, display port, and HDMI. So that's three outputs and it's a GeForce 1050. All right, so we can literally say that at least for media shout, their lowest is an Intel i3 or AMD equivalent. And we're gonna say eight gigs of memory and almost everything else is the same except for internet is not required. All right, let's go to the last one here. All right, Proclaim, let's see. Come on guys, please show me where the specs are. Okay, they go, wait, that's, there's no way. <laughs> All right, so in other words, I'm gonna ignore theirs because this is beyond old. So pretty much what we have so far here will cover everything. So yeah, so we're looking at an Intel i5 or AMD um, equivalent. I'm being honest, I'm gonna stick with the AMD because that's what I've been using. Memory is fine, graphics card is fine, and we need to be able to do dual displays, all right? You know what, let's go ahead and just do a, um, a GeForce because like I said, this is, this is a 750 that I had in my church computer that we've been using for ProPresenter for over three years. And this is a very old card because we're actually on the 20 series now. And so this is what, one, two, three, four, four gens behind and it still works. So we don't need to go super over the top. Um, so anyway, let's jump over now and let's go shopping shall we so we're back over here let's go over to new egg and we're going to keep that list of everything that we have in place all right so actually let's cut over here so when we look over this um 
what we can say is we're going to stick with an i5 or AMD equivalent, 8 gigs of memory or higher. I'm going to try and aim for 16. Um, a graphics card will say a GTX, but like I said, we could do a, um, a 550 or something like that because that's the equivalent because a 550 um radeon amd card is actually way faster than this and will be good because you can't even get these anymore like i said these are old um we're gonna go with a ssd that's a given internet I, all the computers have um network cards built into them so that's not a problem and because of the graphics card we need to make sure it supports up to three outputs all right all right, so now let's cut, go ahead and cut over here to new egg. And let's go ahead and start with a case. I'm going with a micro ATX motherboard. It's not the smallest one, but it's right in the middle. So we don't need a super big computer. So let's go ahead and pick out the case I always go with I didn't bump up the price on me oh because it was actually going with somebody else alright so this is the one I normally get straightforward nothing fancy all right, let me go ahead and add the obvious stuff. Keyboard and mouse is there. Don't really need speakers, um, so I'm not going to add those in here. I'm not going to, you know what, let's go ahead and add a CD burner in there as well, just in case, because people are still using CDs and DVDs on occasion. And they're not all digital. They should be, but they're not all digital yet. So we'll use this light on drive here let's go ahead and add that and now let's go look at the actual equipment that we're going to get but let's see we're at seven around 75 dollars right now all right so the first thing we're going to do is look at processors and uh, you know i'm going to show y'all just so we can give a comparison so i'm going to do a i5 and a Ryzen don't need that don't need that we'll keep those two and then the i5 we're gonna do the most recent gen so I'm gonna keep all of these X's I think that's old because it's only a couple of them so I'm gonna stick with these all right, so I'm looking at both. So we're just going to look at a price comparison. Uh, and we want these to be quad core and new. All right, so again, I like the AMDs because they have the graphics chip built onto it, but you can always add something onto it so it doesn't matter. So this is a four core at $89 up to one with the graphics card on it that's 140 and then as you can see the jump here this is a quad core you're already at around like 227 so as you can see we can save almost about like almost half the price well mainly mainly about a hundred dollars on here so I am going to go with <sighs> I'm going to go with a Ryzen 5 2400G all right has a fan already built into it so this is an AMD equivalent has a graphics card built into it boom so there we go so that's part number one all right 
so so we're good on our processor so far so let's go ahead and just done right there so now we're going for memory but what we want to do before we do memory we want to pick our motherboard so we need an AMD motherboard and we're looking for a micro ATX we're looking for it to be brand new and we're gonna go with new egg as the seller in most of my systems I've actually been using these so this is good and actually this is a this is actually the updated model of what I use so I think that is good but let's make sure everything is compatible so we have a Ryzen five which is an APU so that's covered here want to make sure it will work and then we're just gonna look at the picture of it so we can see so it only has two slots here that slot the big slot right there if you looked at my video about upgrading the graphics card that is a PCI E 16x slot so that's where you can add graphics cards later um, bigger ones so that's good and this is a smaller one um, for like your um, well we're not going to use this for this so but it's good just show you what it can be here now the motherboard what we're looking for because we're using the integrated graphics card we want to make sure it can handle three outputs all right so let's look at here so we got one two three that's okay I don't like that VGA one so let's go ahead and go back and look at another motherboard and see if we can get a better one all right let's look at this one and let's see what type of display outputs we have here so we have DVI, VGA, and HDMI. No. All right, let's look at this one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm skipping it. Let's go to this one. Because this is the most recent one, actually. Because this is the one I did for my mom, I believe. And we're right back to the same thing. Hmm. I mean it technically that will work um because we have the three outputs because you're really not going to get multiple hdmis um on the motherboard unless you pay a higher price for it so it's not really necessary to go with a higher price <laughs> and we're not looking for it to be super fancy with um, LEDs and all this other stuff so let's just look back at this one again because this is the most recent revision so it has the three outputs so let's go with this one and normally when you do this they give you a good recommendation of memory that you can go with here so thirty two all right, so let's go with this one, and then we're going to pick memory. All right, let's go to memory, desktop, and let's cut back over here. So we are, oh, we're, we're getting ready to do memory. We didn't have motherboard called out. All right, so what we're going to do here is we want to look at eight and four when it comes to eight we're looking for 16 because the motherboard only has two memory slots so we can put two eights which would give us 16 or higher or we do two fours which is going to give us eight um i'm gonna aim for 16 but it all depends on the price all right so here we're looking at 
two fours, which will give us eight. And that is DDR four. And again, we're looking for new egg. The cell. All right, let's apply and let's see what we get. Now I've used G skill, um, this exact one, as well as these. On actually, this is what I have on my computer right now, my streaming PC. So that's so eight gigs. That's the minimum that they say is good. And let's see how high we can go. What's the price range? Let's jump up four. So at sixteen, we're right at about ninety dollars. The Corsair, it's a good high-end memory. Let's drop down a little bit. Okay, it just transitions over to 16 right here. So let's go back one more page and let's see if we can squeeze in 16 gigs of memory. All right, 16, so we're right here at $80. And this is a good speed too. Can we go any lower? This is 2,400 and let's say this $3. So let's go with this one here, 16 gigs. So it's double the memory that they recommended. So we should be good with this. Let's go ahead and add that. And let's cut over here and the memory we're actually over on this one which is good now we really don't have to do a graphics card because we went with one that's embedded um, I'm trying to think I think we're good I really think we're good with that um, but just in case let's go ahead and just search and just see what we can get so we want to look for a graphics card and I am not going to top of the line because that would be ludicrous. We can go with a 1050 or like I said, we can go with a RX. Five fifty. Let's look at those. Oh, and we want to get brand new and new egg. So the five fifty is going to be the lowest price because again, you you really don't need a lot of horsepower to actually do this. It's mainly just being able to push out the graphics so what I'm gonna do is we need to be able to do three graphic displays which I think we're good at right now because once we jump up to a 1050 we're looking at almost double the price, at least on the lowest one. And this is actually the one that I just recently did in this video um, and put that in place for the system and then <laughs> just moved it over to our streaming PC because I just bought a, a um, Radeon 7 for my workstation, my video editing system. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with the GPU that's on board um, for right now. 
and once we test it once we build it and test it if we have any problems we'll roll over to either one of these 550s or i'll throw in a 1050 so we're good right now so let's go ahead and cut back we're gonna say we're using on board graphics all right so now let's go ahead and we're gonna go to hard drives next and we're gonna do a SSD and the motherboard actually supports M.2 that's the small drives right here so let's go ahead and pick one of those we're gonna go with new and new egg again and this is the one I actually have in my systems um, silicon power and they've actually got a good deal so we're gonna bump this up to 512 and that's only $64 so we're gonna go with that so if we cut over here so we're going with 512 M.2 SSD internet's not a problem dual displays is also done because we actually will be able to su support three all right so now the only thing else is we got to add the, the essential stuff so we got windows 10 home gonna add there we also need a power supply for everything so i like evga power and we only need 500 watts that's more than enough for what we're doing oh, so by new egg and actually 450 is <laughs> really good for this as well too but i don't know why they get the price it's so much different there so we'll go with that now I did not throw in a monitor so let's look for a monitor because what we're going to do is actually use the VGA port will be the monitor that whoever's operating the computer that's what they will look at and then you have display port which you can convert over to HDMI will go to your projector and then you have the other HDMI for like a stage display or something like that if you decided to do that that should be easier or you can always if you have an older projector you can use the VGA port to go to that and use the HDMI for your monitor so you know what I'm not really gonna throw in a monitor on this one um, it all depends so right now I'm not gonna throw that in so let's go ahead and just look over the parts alright so we got a DVD burner we have our case uh, motherboard, power, keyboard, mouse, 16 gigs of memory, our processor, and Windows. And they gave us all this other stuff. No, I don't care if it's free. I'm not using that. Memory, processor, Windows, hard drive. So we're right at around 564. So based on the specs that we have, this should cover every single thing that any of the presentation softwares can do. All right. So now I could, I could always drop the processor down to the 2200G, which is what I have. Um, I know works because that's what I have at my church. And that was what I had paired with this um so i mean we could save a couple of dollars here and then throw in some other stuff so you know i think i think i will do that i think i'm going to downgrade this to the 2200g that will knock about 40 dollars off still more than capable of being able to handle all the stuff that we're going to do and let's actually look at a different motherboard just so we can get some more features how about that all 
Alright, so like this is a gigabyte motherboard that gives us some more um, PCIe 16 slots compared to the other ones. Actually have double the amount of memory. So we could always add more memory if we wanted to. And then let's look at the slots on here. Let's see what we get. Alright, so see this wasn't as good. It only has two display two outputs. We have DVI and HDMI. So not that great. Not that great. And now at this point I'm just being compulsive and being nitpicky because I just want to make sure we're giving a good quality product here that we're going to build because the idea is you want to build a system that you don't want to have to keep coming back to and touching it again you want it to last you a good while and let's look at this MSI one as well too and this one So actually now I think about it, this is the one that I have in the system right under my table. Um, and let's just see, all right, that gives us those three and it has a few slots. Uh, no, that one's not too hot there. All right, three displays as well. I think we might be, have got what we need. This one. This one gives us two slots. So let's go ahead and switch this out and use this one instead. Since we drop down our processor, we'll use the extra money to get a better motherboard. All right. So let's go ahead and switch it out. And sorry for jumping back and forth. All right. So we went up by $20 here. Let's remove the old one. And let's remove this processor. All right, so we're right about at the same price. I don't know what that is. I didn't get that. All right, so we're right at about 539. All right, so we got everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and order this. And what we're going to do is when everything comes in, we're going to go ahead and do a long drawn out build video of this. And then after that, we're going to put download the trials of all these applications and then make sure that they run well on each one. All right. So I hope you all like this, guys. Um, stand by for the next follow up videos. Um, but if you like this, make sure you hit that like button consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification that way you get notified when we come up with new videos and don't forget guys when we do the build video that's the one that we're going to be um, looking at um, we're looking for the ultimate presentation pc build that's the one that i need you to put your comments on and that's what we're going to be trying to track who's going to win the giveaway when we do this all right we're going to the giveaway ends july 1st or when we hit 500 subscribers check out the description in this video on all these series of the giveaway to look at all the rules and officials and everything like that for the stuff so again this is aj thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video later